Today I'm going to show you how to make the fake chocolate bunnies. I know a lot of you have been probably waiting for this video. So I will show you how I make these little bunnies. Um, not only little bunnies, big bunny. This one I just finished last night. He's huge and I love how it turned out. I'm pretty excited. I love it. Um, so I buy my molds online at the confectionery house confectionaryhouse.com and I also buy them on Amazon. I bought I bought most of my molds at uh, the confectionery house so um, but this particular bunny I did actually buy um, on candy molds and more on Amazon and you have to make sure that you buy part A and part B because it's two molds and you have to put them together right to make the bunny. Um, some molds right here that I bought at the confectionery house um, if it's small, it comes in one mold. So you don't need to buy two, you just buy the one. And these molds are super cheap, like $3. They're really, really cheap. Um, this big bunny, actually, this is a large, really large mold here. Uh, yeah, so I got A and B for that. So, in this rabbit right here, actually, I actually got this, I got this mold a year, oh, a couple years ago. So, um, I'm not sure, hopefully they still have that mold available. I didn't see it when I put my order in the last time, but they might have, have it now. So, so now, uh, what you're gonna need, what these rabbits are made out of is plaster of Paris. Um, so, read the instructions very carefully. It is two parts um, plaster of Paris and one part water, and you have to really mix it really well, and you have to work really quite fast, because it thickens pretty quickly. So um, it might take a little practice to use that, but uh, probably some of you have already used Plaster of Paris. And I find when you um, when you pour it in your mold, just make sure that you kind of tap it down and shake it up and, and so it gets right into the, all the grooves and things like that. And then once you pour that, I let it set for the day. You leave it, pour it, and leave it. So once you take it out, take it out really carefully because sometimes some ears can break off and things like that. And if the ears do break off, um, if one ear breaks off, that's fine. You can just feature your rabbit, you know, on the other side, right? So I'm going to show you how you put together these rabbits. So once you have your, uh, your rabbit, you paint, you have to sand the inside of each bunny so because you're going to put them together so it doesn't have to be perfect there's going to be some little bit of space there but you have it pretty pretty closely together like match it up pretty good pretty smoothly so you sand that then you have to paint two coats of uh, acrylic paint of your craft paint inside because if you don't it won't stick together I've learned that so you have to paint that um, for it to stick um, so you need a hot glue gun as well, or not the smaller glue gun, like the bigger glue gun. The smaller glue guns isn't hot enough. Um, but also, I know I realized with this big bunny, um, the, even the hot glue gun, I couldn't put it together because by the time I got from here to there, the glue up here was cooling off. So what I did, I actually um, put it together with the caulking with this caulking that I showed you in the previous video uh, is the acrylic latex caulking. And this is also what we use to fill in the cracks on this and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. So, um, so once you sand the inside of this, paint it, let it dry well, two coats, you take a very hot glue gun and very quickly you put your glue on your rabbit here as quick as you can, add the other piece, and hold it together there so the part about the glue gun is it does make it stick together quickly and then you're ready to work with it um, if you do have to use if you do decide to use the caulking you have to let it dry for a couple hours before you work on your rabbit so once you have your bunny together you you kind of I have a little nail a little nail file like Dollarama nail file here and you just kind of sand smooth it out a little bit your rabbit like that and um, this one of course I pre sanded a little a little bit but you just kind of round it out a little sand it up all all the way around so then it's time you got to crack fill the holes here so you use your caulking so actually, I'll be honest I use my fingers. I use my fingers and you just fill in all the cracks. And sometimes you gotta put two coats 
Um, and you try to wipe the bunny. You don't want to have that crack filler on the rabbit. So you just kind of wipe it off. Um, like so. So you do that the whole way around the bunny. And then you let that dry. You don't really have to let this dry very long. And you just kind of wipe the rabbit. In there. So this is what you do. You do it all the way around, let it dry. So once that is dry, it is ready for painting. Uh, so here I have one that is all painted. I'm not going to show you how to paint because I know most of you know how to paint and you're going to walk. It take an hour to paint this bunny. So, so it's all pre-painted. Any shade you want. Um, I use uh, deco art craft paint, any kind, Americana craft paint. Um, I use burnt umber deco art for the, the color of this chocolate. And then I mix whatever colors I want for the pink and the teal and the green here. But yeah, the brown is, I use burnt umber. That's the color I use. And for the uh, yellow ones, the vanilla ones, I use um, bright, a little bit of bright yellow, yellow antique white and a little touch of white mixture, but you don't have to mix. You can do whatever shade of cream you want for those. So we're going to, so you need your Easter uh, straw, Easter straw. And uh, so we're gonna switch over to a smaller glue gun here. You don't need the big hot glue gun for this, these smaller projects. I actually, the only time I use big hot glue guns is, is for putting these rabbits together and, uh, or wreaths and things like that. So we're gonna hot glue the straw onto the bunny. I have to add uh, mention as well that I um, put uh, two coats of matte varnish as well, water base on the bunnies after I paint them. So we've glued the straw. And we're gonna trim it up a little bit here. There we go. So then we have the little cake here that I showed you how to make these in, the, in a previous video. So we are going to hot glue it in there. Just like so, right in there. And like I said, you can put whatever you want in here. Any kind of little embellishment that you from any dollar store. I do have two eggs here from the dollar store. And I'm going to hot glue them on there. Just like that. And the other one. Like there. There we go. So we have that all glued in there. And you can go back and trim a little more if you want here. Trim it up. There, so now I just have to add the little bow here. You don't have to add bows if you don't want. I tend to sometimes fold them up a little bit. And I do a little knot, put the knot on this side. Well, come on, little knot. There we go. Okay. <laughs> After a while, I'll get it. Cut it up. And no, oh, that's good. Okay, so I actually made a little bow here already. So you just hot glue down that little bow on there. I'm almost running out of glue here. And you just hot glue it just like that, right on the bunny. And she's all done. Hold on, I love these. <laughs> oh, so. That is how I make these bunnies. I think I covered all the steps. Um, if any questions, you can. I'll read your comments. Uh, so yeah, so that's how I make these little little rabbits, big rabbits, little rabbits. And um, I'll probably do. I'll probably do another video someday of another mold that I use. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe.